Now, there have not been many senators from Delaware. It's a small state. As a matter of fact, there's never been one. Now, guys, I found this amazing video about Biden's gaffes and her input on it. And I just want to share with you guys. Now, just tell me what you guys' thoughts are below in the comment section. I really want to hear what you guys' thoughts are about this, but uh, let's roll it. It's time for my favorite segment. This week, the president made a series of outrageously false statements. I'm not talking about things <laughs> that are subjective. I'm talking about verifiably false claims like this. Delaware at the Biden Institute. So we call that using a point of personal privilege. Now, there have not been many senators from Delaware. It's a small state. As a matter of fact, there's never been one. Uh, and uh, so I want to take advantage of <laughs> Where does one even start? Delaware has had many, many, many senators. Uh, Delaware was the first state to ratify the US Constitution back in 1787. So Now, in this defense, guys, I would say mo a lot of presidents have these type of gaffes. You know, they always talk to them in the spotlight, so they really can't think through what they're saying. So just take that as a... Uh, some food for thought. That means Delaware has had two senators since the very beginning of the US Senate <laughs> and Biden should know that because he was himself a Delaware senator for some 35 years, 36 years I think. But the gaffe was nothing compared to this where Biden claims that the US sent javelins and other weapons to Russia to prepare Ukraine for an attack. <laughs> Before Russia attacked, we made sure Russia had javelins and other weapons to strengthen the defenses so Ukraine was ready for whatever happened. But <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Woo. But worse than the gaffes are Biden's divisive lies and scaremongering. What happens if you have a uh, state ch changes the law saying that, that, that children who are LGBTQ can't be in classrooms with other children? Just a crazy, irresponsible and false statement. Remember just two months ago when Biden was talking about unity? Let's stop sending each, seeing each other as enemies. Let's start seeing each other for who we are, fellow Americans. Okay. Well, now he is indulging in this divisive and inflammatory nonsense because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in America. Now, I've seen that on the news, guys. Everything is, they try to label things as, oh, this is MAGA, this is MAGA, just to, like, like control the thinking, making you think that these people are bad. Like, I really get, it really gets tiring. American history. As they say, that's what happens when you order a president through the mail. It's time for my... Now, guys, that's the gas. I thought it was pretty funny. What do you guys' thoughts are? I mean, President Biden, you know, President Trump, President Obama, Clinton, and Bush. I mean, we can just go through the line. Presidents have all said pretty funny things that have been, <laughs> you know, just interesting. But, you know, those are some ones that I found out. I thought this video was funny. Uh, tell me what you guys' thoughts are in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.